everybody. Welcome to a Quickie with Miss B. Thanks for joining us again this week. All this week, we're going to be talking about let's go shopping. And you know where I got that idea? <laughs> where? Tell us. Tell us where you got that I got, idea. I got that idea because, you know, I was talking to you and we were talking about the other show. And then Amanda calls you and then we're having a three-way conversation. And before you know it, she's taking both of us shopping with her. So that got me thinking. What are some of the weird, strange items that people shop for? <laughs> I found a list. <laughs> I want to hear the list. So today for your mundane Monday, to get things started, this episode's called Personalize That. <laughs> okay. Ooh, no. There's a lot of things you can personalize. I got a funny it's... feeling we're about to head to Creepsville on a really slow, slow train. <laughs> I don't know who who orders these okay now just before we get started I should tell you that all of these items can be found on Amazon if you choose to <laughs> purchase we're not, any of them we're not recommending anything <laughs> nope <laughs> personalized ice picks to use on your ex I mean if you choose to do that that's on you <laughs> So, the first one is this personalized cardboard cutout. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? A personalized card? Oh, I mean, like, I could have a me standing beside me? <laughs> yes, this is, you don't have to be a celebrity to get your own cardboard cutout, apparently. Uh, you just, the seller just asks that you send them an image and height specifications, and they'll send you a larger-than-life cut out of yourself <laughs> wow you realize no. i could have me behind me in bed i'm laying in bed and i'm behind me looking down at myself going look i take my hands and put them like on like on the edge of bed and then look down like this they give me a cardboard cutout and it's me looking down at me on bed I first thing i see in the morning is Dude, that creeps me out. Why are you doing that? Stop looking at me, you freak. Wow, that'd be weird, huh? I could argue with myself first thing in the morning. Why, why would you? <laughs> There's $70. Wow. I don't have a lot of things to waste 70 bucks on. Picture of me looking at me. First thing in the morning is not one of the things I have on my priority list. <laughs> Well, there's a couple of suggestions that they make if you're going to go ahead and <laughs> get a personalized cardboard cutout of yourself. They say when choosing your photo, use an original high quality full resolution one. Um, cell phone photos should be up close and original. Social media photos don't work well, so don't use those. <laughs> wow. And if you actually had a photographer take your picture, you have to make sure that it's okay for him or her to release your photo. <laughs> it's a photo Can of me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. It's, wait, why do I have to make sure it's okay for them to release the photo? It's, it's a photo of me. It's not like they own me. <laughs> if it's a reprint. <laughs> I think that's where they're coming from. If it's a reprint and you're unsure, you should contact your photographer that... Uh, <laughs> So that he or she can release the picture for you. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I have no words. Can you imagine, though? Like, what if you... <laughs> you know, like those women that do those glam shots? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I, I've seen that. But do you, awesome. realize, do you realize what a disappointment that is, though? Because, I mean, you, you, you come home, you go, baby, what? I got this for you, and it's your girl in black and white, and she looks like, you know, I don't know, a Playboy playmate. And you're like, baby, what? How come you can't look like that today? Can you, what, who did that for you? They go, well, I went away. Okay, I need them here every morning. When you get up in the morning, I want you to go glam shot it out, and then I'll, I'm going to, it's just not fair. That'd be a lot of, that's going to start a lot of fights and arguments. You realize that when you're, when you're like, 
Look what I got. Yeah, that's what she got me. She showed me what she <laughs> she showed me her potential. She hasn't lived up to that. She hasn't lived up to that since, but she did show me her potential. Well, yeah. I mean, that's okay. Like if you're sending it to somebody, you know, that is your boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, whatever. But can you imagine if you did it for yourself and you what? in your own house? You want to know how good I can look? I could look like that. But instead, I choose to look like this. Yeah. Yeah. I did that for me. Just so I can remind myself, I don't put that much effort into me ever. <laughs> Apparently, they come, these come in different sizes. You can get them in three foot, four foot, five foot, and six foot. <laughs> wow. I always wanted to be tall. <laughs> A six foot picture of me at six foot looking down at me. No, that's kind of creepy. Even I think that's creepy. Oh, they gave it, uh, at the, there, there's 119 reviews out there, so at least 119 people bought a personalized cardboard cut out of themselves. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind having my own action figure. <laughs> I, I could dig that, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> you know, I uh, mm. hear God's jaw. My own little action figure, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd, that'd be kind of cool. I could dig that. Oh, gosh. And on that note, we need to take a break. We'll be back in a moment. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to a quickie with Miss B. If you missed the first half of the episode, please go check that out on your Monday and Monday. And get, and a, as get always, a cardboard cut out of yourself. It's important. Yes. <laughs> put it put it in the shower when your friends come over. <laughs> you scare the hell out of them. That'd be so. Wouldn't that <laughs> be awesome? It'd be like, is, is somebody in there? And they scream. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter? I, I was gonna say that he's it, but he's not. That's hard to explain. What do you mean? <laughs> I thought John was in the shower when I got in here. <coughs> he's out. He's out here, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he but left. he's sort of in the shower. <laughs> I think he left his cardboard cutout in the shower. <laughs> I think we should go now. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see you taking that to some of your friends' houses and playing tricks on them with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like, tape, hi. <laughs> tape a gun to its hand and have it up by its head. It's sitting in the car. There's a guy. I think he's made of cardboard. I I, I, I think he's going to hurt himself. I'm like, what? Wait, what? There's a man, a cardboard man in a car. It looks like he might hurt himself. Hold up, ma'am. Are you okay? I'm telling you, there's a cardboard man. It looks like my neighbor, and he's he's in his. I think he might do it. If I had one of myself, I'd place it in my window with binoculars. With binoculars, <laughs> the neighbors would believe you're home. Yes. Yeah, she's home. Watch what you do. She's watching the hood. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. So, on to the next one. <laughs> this one's weird, too. This one's a real-life potato head. Wait, what? Yep. <laughs> do you realize, and I know this is funny, but did you know that the original potato head was <laughs> sold as a real-life potato head? It was sold Mister. Mr. Potato it was Head? sold as a real-life potato head. All the parts that you're used to <clears throat> had little sharp points on them. And what you did was is it only came with the parts. You supplied the potato. Oh, really? That's the way it came out originally. You supplied the potato. Oh. So you got a potato and you put all your different parts on it. You played with a potato. So you put the ears and eyes and... Yeah. Yeah, and it's sharp, <laughs> sharp points so you can stick them into the potato. You give the children little sharp, pointy things, and they stab them into potatoes. And you go, <laughs> "What fun!" 
Look, Great, little Bobby and Susie. <laughs> little Bobby and Susie are having such fun. Look at them. They're stabbing things in potatoes. Stab oh, yeah. children, stab. <laughs> stab away. Just stab the day away. <laughs> from sounds like something from Psycho. Or uh, no, what was that? The, um, yeah, no, that was you're on the shower. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm playing potato head. <laughs> Not really, I am. <laughs> uh, so this real life potato head. <laughs> you can buy a real Idaho potato um, with your image on it. So you, once again, you get a picture of your face. And you can put it on this potato. <laughs> and all you have to do is hit customize now when you're, you know, putting the... Um, photo on there so you can upload the full fo photo before you add it to the cart <laughs> and it literally is a potato on a stick <laughs> not a jalapeno on a stick <laughs> a potato with your face on a stick <laughs> it sells for 24 dollars <laughs> for a potato for one I'll draw yes. a, I'll draw a stick figure on one they get from the grocery <laughs> store and I'll call that good. <laughs> I guess this was seen on that show called Shark Tank. <clears throat> they must have thought imagine? that was pretty stupid. God. But can you imagine gifting that to somebody? Here's something that you will always remember me by. Well, you can't. You can't <laughs> always, you always remember me. <laughs> you can't really. After about two weeks, it starts growing. You know, potatoes, <laughs> potato plants out of it. I mean, heaven's to Betsy. Come on. Oh my gosh! It doesn't stop there, John. You can get a potato and customize a message on there too. If you don't want to put the photo of yourself on there, you can customize the message like "Happy Birthday, Grandpa." Here's a tater. You remember that? You, you remember the depression, right? Happy Depression Day, Grandpa. Oh my god! Well, that one's twenty bucks. Wow. $20 for one potato. Think about that, people. Mm -hmm. $20 for a tater. A spud that's 20 bucks. <laughs> wow. That's just like too much money to pay for. A potato? Yeah. I would write, take a black magic marker, write, <laughs> happy birthday, Grandpa. Put a bunch of stamps on it. Put it in the mail and see if I could actually get it to arrive. We used to be able to mail weird stuff. You, I've mailed coconuts yeah. before. I, as long as the postage went on and it was fine. As long as you yeah. paid the postage. Yeah. But I mean, you could mail a potato. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa. And you mail a potato. You go, Why'd you do that for? Remind you of the Great Depression? Were you depressed? <laughs> Hopefully you were depressed, Grandpa. Sent you a tater. You remember the younger days? Way back when, yeah, sent you tater. Yep. Make some soup, Grandpa. Should be enough to feed a family of nine. There's 364 reviews on this, so 364 people are stupid. Potato. Are stupid. <laughs> are stupid. That's almost that one for every day of the year. <laughs> Like they say there's a stupid person born every day. They've only got a couple more to go, so somebody hurry up and grab the few, last few slots. Let's make it a year. Grab that potato. By the eye. <laughs> and on that note, we have to go. Hungry? 